we got more uh, to chat with Dr. Marjorie Dixon about, we just talked about pregnancy. We're talking um, about periods. We're now going to talk about periods. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a lot goes on with the menstrual cycle. I yes. think that um, there might be women that are going through a menstrual cycle that is actually quite heavy and they think that this is normal because this is what they've always been through yeah. Yeah. and it might not be normal. It's so what not. is so normal? So what, what women do is keep calm, carry on and actually we learn, we adapt. I've had patients say, I put three tampons up there with a pad and I'm good to go. And I'm oh like, no. That's, yes. That's too much. But that is not normal. So yeah. the average menstrual blood loss for women should be somewhere between 10 cc's or 10 milliliters and 30 milliliters. Okay. Women can bleed up to 80 milliliters. So for example, a, a regular tampon yeah. can hold about five cc's once it's soaked. So you know, a tampon that has a little bit and you're changing it, that doesn't count as soaking one. Okay. So if it's 35, that's the average, you should have seven full tampons in a period. And that's normal. And that's normal. And you bleed, you know, between four and six days. Okay. The other thing people can do is actually when you're curious about your menstrual loss, and mm -hmm. there are cups, menstrual mm -hmm. cups. And actually, a lot of women that take these don't go back. They don't go back to the tampons after. Because you can actually measure the amount of menstrual blood loss that you're having. There's some for women who haven't had a baby, so this is a smaller one. Mm -hmm. Then there's a larger one for a woman that's had a baby before because the cervix expands. Mm -hmm. But they're menstrual cups, and if you're curious about what your uh, volume of menstrual loss is, you can actually use this and it's measured seven and a half milliliters or 15 milliliters yeah. so your period should actually be two and a little of one of these cups so here's the thing I remember when those cups first came out and I thought well, that looks so messy it is messy though is it it is because people are telling me the the women that use it they love it and they're they want to yeah. stay with it and they say it's the best thing ever so I never hear about any of the mess so I try everything that I have patients come to me saying can I use this so, so you I tried try, it so it is messy. You have to wash your hands and then you dump in the toilet. Because you're collecting your own you're collecting period your blood. Own, yeah. like, and so the, you've but got it's to... empowering in a way too because you're like, oh, look, that was 15 cc's. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you took my foot in the toilet and you rinse it out. I write that in my little notebook. You have to be careful. You have to keep it clean. You can keep it on for 12 hours apparently, but you oh, want okay. to keep it clean. There's a special solution to cleanse it with because, you know, anything, if you use it too much, can be a nidus of infection. You don't want that to happen. Do you know when, when it's over full, does it leak? It leaks a little bit, okay. but you, it's only because I, you're lazy and don't change it. Like okay. You should right. change it, right? Yeah, take it out. Um, but a pad or a tampon that fills with blood, we talk about soaked pads, mm -hmm. those should be between 5 and 10 milliliters of menstrual blood. Okay. If you have more than, anemia is the number one cause of reasons why women end up at the doctors for otherwise well visits. So, and that's related to their menstrual periods. And there are a lot of things you can do. Even the ibuprofen that you can take or, or Motrin or um, any of those ones, that category yeah. are anti-prostaglandin medications. So so not only do they help with pain, yeah. but they can also minimize, help reduce a little bit of the menstrual blood loss that you have. Okay, and then add iron. Talk to people if you <laughs> think that your flow is way too much.